Alexa. 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 What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Best Smart Home Tech, Episode 2. My name is Jerry Land with Novatech, and today we're checking out the Amazon Echo Dot. As someone who held out on the Amazon Echo the first time around, I gotta say I am pumped for this product, so let's just get right into it. So the sleeve comes right off. <laughs> oh man. I wasn't sure how I, was, how I was gonna feel about the build quality or the fact that it's this much smaller. It literally looks like a hockey puck, maybe a little bit taller, but I love it. I really love it. Let's see what else is inside. We get a USB brick. We get some information. And we get some cables. We got a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable and we have a, I believe, micro USB cable. And that's what comes inside the box. Right off the bat, my initial impressions are really good about this thing. Like I said, I think it looks like a slightly larger hockey puck, but in a good way. I think this build quality is a lot better than I was expecting. And for $90, half the price of what the actual Amazon Echo costs, I'm super excited to be able to have this product and have all the functionalities of Alexa in this tiny little package. So what I'm seeing right off the bat is that on the back we have our micro USB port as well as our 3.5 millimeter jack. On the top we have a couple buttons. So we have a mute button right here so that Alexa won't be able to hear you anymore. We have our microphone right here and then we have our multi-purpose button right here on the side as well. And then on the top you can see that we have our speaker grill because this does still work by itself. And then we have our volume control ring right here up top which is super smooth by the way, and has an LED ring around it. We got some Amazon branding on the front, and on the bottom we actually have a rubber pad so that this doesn't slide around, which I really like. Good addition. Smart home automation is awesome, and that's what this series is about. It's to celebrate that and recognize that and show you guys what products are available for that specific reason. What's cool about this product right now is that I truly believe that Amazon Echo or the Echo Dot or the Echo Tap or Alexa in general is the closest thing that we have right now to Iron Man's Jarvis. Granted, Alexa is a maybe beta, beta, beta version of Jarvis, but it is pretty cool that we have so many automated features in Alexa that are actually a lot better than Siri. And to all you Apple fans out there, I use a ton, a ton, a ton of Apple products. So don't mean to hate on Siri, but so far by what I've been testing and what I've seen, Alexa's doing pretty dang good. So what's the difference between the Amazon Echo Tap, the Dot, and the Echo? Well, the Echo is basically an all-around, it's Alexa inside a giant speaker that's actually a really good speaker. The Amazon Tap is more of a portable speaker, and it also has Alexa, it has a wireless charging stand. It's pretty cool, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. And the Amazon Echo Dot is half the price of the original Echo, coming in at around 90 bucks. So basically, this is the Amazon Echo without the whole speaker unit. And what's cool about this is that it also has a little speaker of its own, which isn't that great, but it works if you don't have anything else to plug it into. But the best part of this is the 3.5 millimeter jack that allows you to plug the Echo Dot into any speaker of your choice. So I have my Yamaha HS5s back here, and that's probably where I'll set Alexa up with, and that's gonna sound baller. I'll drop a link to all these different things in the description below if you want to check them out or grab one for yourself. You can check out the differences in full between each of these products. But that was just a quick summary of what's different about them. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently, in San Diego, it's 62 degrees with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 71 and a low of 56. Alexa, what's the news today? Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News from TuneIn. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Barbara Klein. A third person has been charged in Belgium in connection with the Alexa, stop. Pod. So Alexa's got tons of awesome features like you just saw, but what else can it do? So what I want it to do is something I'm sure all of you will also want. So in the back you see I have tons of these awesome LED bulbs and strips. So I got an LED light strip down there. I have a couple LifeX bulbs here and then in the ceiling and all around my smart home that I'm trying to make. But Alexa can control all of these through the Alexa app. Oh, Alexa, stop. Gotta be careful with that. So if you don't want her to listen, all you gotta do 
is tap that button and you'll see that the ring turns red. Now I can say, Alexa, 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 Alexa. She won't do anything, so that's pretty great. And now if I turn it back off, Alexa, set alarm for 10 seconds from now. 10 seconds, starting now. So she's gonna set that alarm for me and we can go ahead and keep talking. So like I said, I got some LifeX bulbs here that I want to connect to Alexa's app and we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And there's my 10 second alarm, perfect timing. Alexa, stop. That's all you gotta do. I honestly, just right off the bat right now, I just wanna say I love this thing so much right now because Hey Siri never works for me and it's so frustrating. And so it's nice to have this. Okay, so like I said, I'm pretty new to the Amazon ecosystem, so I have no idea what any of the commands are, but in the box you get this little card that gives you a few commands you can try out. Also through the app when you're getting set up, they'll give you a little tutorial as well, so that's super helpful. And if you want to find out more of what you can do with Alexa and what you can say, just check out the Amazon Echo app. So connecting to my LifeX bulbs was pretty simple. All I had to do was go through the actual Amazon Echo app and then connect my devices. And now check this out. Alexa, turn on the office lights. Boom, Alexa, turn off the office lights. Okay. Awesome. I think one of my favorite parts about this system is the inline controls for the volume that's just turned like this. You'll see the LED turn higher and lower, higher and lower, and that integrates with the volume, which I think is super, super cool. But what we wanna check out now is how loud is the speaker inside the actual Amazon Dot versus when I plug it into my Yamaha HS5s, which is gonna be awesome. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now I have her turned up probably about 90%. So let's go ahead and check out how loud that is from where you guys are. Again, this is just picked up with my Rode VideoMic Pro on top of my camera all the way over there. So Alexa, tell me a joke. How does NASA organize a party? How? A planet. Interesting, not bad. Alexa, Wikipedia, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States, serving from March 1861 until his assassination in April 1865. Alexa, stop. Pretty cool, right? It's actually a lot louder than I was expecting, but let's go ahead and plug it into my speakers and see how it sounds now. So Alexa can connect to your external speaker device through the aux cable, or it can connect through Bluetooth, which I think is really, really cool. So, embarrassing story. My HS5s run on XLRs, I have 3.5 millimeter cables, I totally forgot about that, so I'm gonna need to get an adapter if I wanna use my HS5s with the Echo Dot, which I'll probably do, but for now, for our tests, I will grab a different speaker for you to check out. All right, so I grabbed a small little portable speaker that's actually really loud. It's uh, from a company called MSSV. I'll try to drop it in the description below for you guys to check out, but we're just gonna test this at 90% as well, so you can get a slight sound sample of how loud it is compared to the Echo Dot. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why do elephants oh. paint their toenails red? To hide in cherry trees. It's really loud. You can't tell, but it's really loud. Alexa, Wikipedia Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States serving from March 1861 until his assassination in April Alexa, 1865. Stop. Tell me Alexa, stop. Me so as you can tell, my speaker was so loud that she couldn't even hear me say stop, but it took me the second try, it worked. I'm just gonna say, I'm super excited with this. Uh, I'm really wanting to plug it into my HS5s and put the dot right maybe up here on top of my HS5 speaker or something like that to integrate it into my desk setup. And that is about it. Since I'm doing this smart home series and I'm teching out my whole home, not just in my office, I'm considering putting Alexa. Stop. I'm considering putting Alexa out in my living room or in the kitchen or something like that so I can use that throughout my home. Uh, one of the coolest features that I actually love about this thing is the far field technology in it where I'm able to be way across the room and she can still hear me. So that is super, super cool, but we'll see. Make sure to drop a comment below. Let me know if you think I should integrate it in my desk setup or if I should put it out in my living room.
or maybe even bedroom, who knows? Let me know in the comments below. So for my final review, I'm gonna say I definitely love this product and highly recommend it. So the Amazon Echo Dot is half the price of the original, but you still get all the awesome integrations. And if you're actually looking for an Amazon Echo or Alexa portable speaker system, then you can check out the Amazon Tap. Again, I'll link all these in the description below for you guys to go pick one up or check out for yourself. But I'm excited to continue playing around with this and see what else I can do with it and what other smart home products that I can integrate with it. If you guys have any suggestions, make sure to leave them below of anything else I can integrate with the, my Amazon Echo Dot. And of course, Best Smart Home Tech Episode 3 is gonna come out soon. Sorry it took so long for Episode 2 to come out. I've been waiting for this because I've been wanting to make this Episode 2. So make sure to comment below what other smart home items you want me to check out and do a review on, and I'll definitely get on that. If you guys wanna see Best Smart Home Tech Episode 3 come out ASAP, Make sure to hit that thumbs up button so I know you guys like this series and want to see the next one and I'll get that done ASAP. Drop me some comments below. Do you guys have the dot? Do you have the tap? Do you have the echo? Are you going to get one? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Jerry Land with Nova Tech and to the next video and beyond. Real sound effects.